Oh, I'm at least going to leave that part of the video, though. <laughs> Me reaching over the box to hit the power button, hit the record button. Power button. I'm like, I know, I'm like, uh, uh, trying to hit the, the button. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Lily Riggs. Uh, we have this giant thing to unbox. This whole video is going to be this unboxing. I haven't lifted weights in a while, even though I only have a couple of 25 pound weights. That's not enough. I need bigger. Uh, and this is, <laughs> I'm telling you, um, we have uh, this giant thing to unbox from our friends. At, I believe it's pronounced Inex. Um, Inex, um, they said we're going to send you a whole box of stuff to uh, check out. And I was like, you know what? If you're sending me a whole box of stuff to check out, I'm going to do a whole big old video just on the cool products that they have there. Now, I've reviewed their products before on this channel. You're talking about items from Retrobit. Um, in fact, this guy here, uh, like this guy down here, is from Retrobit. And I use this all the time. It's always plugged in, except for right now when I literally just unplugged it to show it off in this video. Um, <laughs> controllers from them in the past. Uh, Retrobit's done a bunch, but Inix also does other things like KMD and other other things too. So they're just like, you know what? We're gonna send you a big old box full of stuff and just check it out. And I said, you know what? In doing so, um, I'll turn it into an unboxing video because we like doing those every once in a while. So I'm here like, we go. Big box unboxing. I know, and it's seriously, I mean, it was literally next to, like where we're sitting, this is kind of a bench seat for our kitchen table. And it was just sitting like right next to me for the last few days. And it's on parallel with the seat. And it's a, it's a high rise seat. Jaren's absolutely going to take the box. What Jaren will do is he'll grab these boxes like we get from Amazon and he'll stack them up in his room and then put his little toy tower on top of that. Yeah, and right now it's, it's touching the ceiling. So he has that on top and then he watches the things fall down and then fall off the floor. Well, so. he doesn't watch that because... There's a bunch of paper. There's a ton of stuff in here. Yeah. Um, and I'm really excited. I already see a couple of things I'm really excited about. And I'm more excited than you. I'm literally like... Daddy, to start it off. <laughs> ooh, 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 hang that up right there. It looks so cool. I think I've seen that before, but I'm not sure. This is from uh, Pixel Frames, and what they'll do, you're making it shake. Um, they do these kind of shadow boxes, so like they have that little 3D depth to them. Like this, of course, is the Sonic the Hedgehog one, a classic. I love it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is fantastic. Nine by nine, Sonic the Hedgehog, officially licensed, and um, wow, Yay. this looks great. Am I gonna open it up or no? Uh, we will soon. Soony soon. Oh, and another one. Wait a minute. Oh, nice. I like this one too. What is it? Oh, sorry. Ah! That one's cool. Dig that one a lot too. I hear Jared having fun in the other room. <laughs> He's playing with the yoga ball. You give him the yoga ball. He's not, he's not supposed to have that yoga ball in his room. Well, uh, he's occupied, but, so that'll be fine. Yeah. I'll show you first. Oh, I want. Yeah, this one's cool, too. Dude, Castlevania. Personal favorite of many. And again, that 3D-ness. We're gonna have a whole picture area. Are you kidding me? Another one? It wasn't a bad are you kidding me. I was like, oh my god. I thought you were just gonna send over, like, one to check out. It's like, hey, here's this one, and here's some other ones available. I was, didn't expect to get... Like, the <gasps> lot. I want that! Oh, man. Look at this one. Dude. This one, this one, might, this one may be my favorite one. That Castlevania one is cool. I mean, that's the Sonic. Don't be so sure. I don't know. Look at the head on the... Oh, I love it. Dude! I freak out on the inside. There's another? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Would it be one of your favorite games? It is one of my favorite games. Oh. Here it is. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You're, you're freaking out. I'm freaking out on the inside. Oh my god. Lord, is that the whole set? I promise there's no more in here, it looks like. Okay. Goes without saying, of course, links to everything, description below, if you're interested in anything if, anything that you just saw and anything you're about to see uh, in this video here. Um, some great stuff. This, you know, I actually, I have something similar to this, and this one's great. Um, this is a charging stand. Um, this is from KMD. Uh, you can use it for your uh, Nintendo Switch. Of course, the power cord is underneath it. So with something like this, you can prop it up and then still have enough room to plug in the power. The, the, the fault of the kickstand that the Switch comes with, you can't do that. But this works for the Switch, and it also works for the Switch Lite, so that's pretty handy. That's, that's cool. They have portable cases for your Nintendo Switch. Uh, this one is for your Switch proper, non-Switch Lite. I guess your Switch Lite might be able to fit in there for sure. Um, however, this one's optimized for just your Nintendo Switch, perfect fit, and it also fits eight game cards. Um, so if, like perfect for flights and all that. Um, awesome, thank you for this. Uh, this supports up to four USBs, extra stability, easy mounting, and charges all devices at once. Ooh. It is a multi-USB port adapter. 
um, optimized for the Nintendo Switch. It looks like you can kind of charge your Nintendo Switch on this thing, and then there's other ports that you can charge more stuff as needed, which makes sense. You could also use this to charge like your controllers, like if you have like a pro controller, maybe. Interesting. Awesome. Well, bam. Um, I didn't even know something like this existed, and here it is in my hands. That's great. Now for this one, I wanted to open up to see exactly what it was. This is the dual game grip, and I was like, okay, um, interesting. So what it does is it easily attaches, I know I have like two reds, my other Switch has two blues. <laughs> so it easily attaches on here to give you a better grip. It just, so it has a little bit of extra something something. And then here comes the little secret compartment here. When you remove it, there's just enough room so you can kind of like hold an extra game in there, like two extra games. So that's kind of fun. I like that. Interesting. Cool. I like it. <laughs> Can never go wrong with these. These are the tempered glass screen protectors. I definitely need this on my Switch um, because our Switch. It's yeah, it also, it's also scratch resistant, anti glare, which is fantastic. Oh. It's also a custom fit, so it just, uh, this kind of just goes straight onto your Switch. I love it. This uh, is another thing I didn't know existed, but glad it is. Now, I, I still use one of these sometimes when I'm uh, playing games on the Switch. Uh, however, this one lets you charge it while you're playing it. Like, you can actually play it corded. Uh, that way you're not losing your battery on your uh, Joy-Cons. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting. I'm curious to see uh, this in action. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, actually. Awesome. Thank you for this. We Oh, I remember these. I have a couple of these myself already. I don't have this color, though. This is the Tribute 64. Yeah, so these these are fantastic. Um, I have a blue one of these that I use all the time. This is the looks like the pur purple one. looks like kind of purpley. Um, but it's uh, like the Hori controller, but fantastic. And this is for your Nintendo 64. Um, so it actually has the Nintendo 64 port and everything, and, um, and I use this. I used this recently when I uh, captured my footage for my recent Nintendo 64 videos. Um, they work great. You can see where the D-pad is, and that's a little weird to play games like No Mercy. Um, but other games, I think it works just fine. This is this is fun, and I saw another one in here too. Oh, and this is your uh, also for the 64, but it's your classic uh, Nintendo gray color. Uh, so that's cool. I like that. Pl Player two is getting that one. I'm getting I'm getting the purple one. No, I'm literally wearing purple. Oh, Obviously. never mind. You can have purple. You can have purple. That one's my new one. No, that's Leo's. That one's Leo's. Well, Leo can have my blue one. Leo likes blue. I like I like this green one here. Okay. Ooh, dude, it I actually I, I like this color a lot. This teal yeah. one. I'm down for teal. that. To me, it looks teal. If you combine the teal with the purple, you got the the Charlotte Hornets right there, right? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just a charging station. It's a, a charging station just for your Joy Cons. Uh, this is great because if you have like you know, I just charge my Joy Cons on the Switch when they're on the little dock thing. But if you have two extra Joy Cons, like for like four player games or whatever, oh, I love them. Yeah, this is this is good, and it comes with everything you need. It actually has the uh, the USB C included and all that. So this holds four Joy Cons. You can actually put four Joy Cons on this thing. Crazy, dude. Yeah, KMD has all kinds of cool stuff. That's mine. This is the champion. Yours? Dude, we haven't even opened it up yet. I do love my PlayStation 4. Play it all the time. It's and there's mine. a... You know what's funny? I have never... I've never tried a, a, a third-party PlayStation 4 controller. And I like how this one lurks. If there's a different color, then I'm gonna... There's only the one. Okay, then that's his mine. Gotta tell you up front, though. It is a wired controller. So you have to play this uh, while it's plugged in. Um, I'm still old school. I don't mind my cords being plugged in. Because I know I'm gonna get direct link. I'm only getting a direct source when I'm playing with a corded, uh, with a with a corded controller. I don't mind the other one, but this is this is cool. And it's a seven foot cord, so it's that's mine. plenty of room. Mine. I'll have extra slack and everything. No. Mine. Ooh. Ooh. That's a beauty. That's awesome. I like the look of that one for sure. Hold on, let me take this out of the box. This is this is the USB C that dropped out of there. So this is for your switch. This is a wireless switch with turbo. Sorry, I need. It actually has a turbo optimized. Uh, on that. I need to feel. All right. The Nintendo Switch has been out for about three years now, and I still, to this day, I don't have a pro controller. Um, I use the Joy-Cons, and every once in a while, I do have a third-party controller that I've used. It was a, it was a controller I, re I reviewed a couple years ago, um, and it still works pretty well. Um, but I've, been, I've always been jealous about the pro controllers, and this, I think, will, uh, will fix that. You can't really tell, but it's slightly transparent. Uh, on the arms there. it's You can see it a little bit on the back there, you know. And I like how, that's that's another thing too. You, c you probably can't see it so much, but I like how this button is a little bit higher than this one. On the Joy-Cons and other controllers, they're so streamlined. And sometimes when they're like, you know, hit R, I pull the trigger, it's like, that's not R, this one's R. It's like, I hate that for being R. I want to hit that one. That's more natural for me, but this one makes it feel comfortable. Oh man, I like this one a lot. Thank you so much. This is, this is gonna be perfect. I like this. <laughs> and it even comes in red. And it comes in transparent red. 
Oh man. I can't thank the people from Enix enough for uh, for this. Again, if you saw anything in the video that you liked, you're like, ooh, give me more information on that. Um, everything you need to know um, is linked in the description below, and I make sure you follow us on Twitch as well. We like streaming on Twitch when we can. <laughs> you like I want to play Five Minutes at Freddy's VR. Yes, do that today. Ugh.